I'm going to take a moment to show you how to connect to your cameras using the Guarding Expert app. The first step is to go to your app store and search Guarding Expert. This is the app we want. There's also Guarding Expert HD, that's for your iPads. We're going to be concentrating on the iPhone. Most people don't use the iPad. I do, obviously. The iPad is essentially the same. Tap open. Now, it's going to ask you to send notifications. This is in case you ever decide to use the alerts. I allow all functionality. Down on the bottom, you have to select your region, America, and it's under USA on the bottom. Enter. Once we do that, we get to this screen, and then we have to enter credentials. The way that we do that is in this top right hand corner. See the little button right here? That brings up the menu. We're going to go down to devices. Access the camera. This is in case you want to be able to send snapshots to people when you're reviewing the video. Again, I allow it. And this is how we would email photos out, so I also allow that. When we go into devices, if you had multiple locations, they'd be listed here. Because this is a new install, we have no devices, so we're going to add one, top right. And it gives us this list of functions. We want to select manual add. And then, at this point, I will have provided you with credentials for each line. I'm going to log in right now using some credentials. Once you've entered your information and you have it all in there, in the top right you have a save button. I'm going to hit that now. When you have the correct credentials in and you've hit the save button, you'll notice on the bottom it says start live view. That means that it has connected and it is seen that you have 11 cameras at that location. If it doesn't come up and you need to change something you hit this button up here one more time. It's the edit button. And then it allows you to make changes just by selecting the box. We're gonna save again and as you can see it goes through its timer. It says password security is weak but it does say start live view down here camera number 11. So we're gonna hit start live view. When we do that, it brings us to this screen where it allows us to display four cameras, one, four, nine, or 16. It also gives us some icons across the bottom. The functionality of the icons is related to where the yellow box is. There's a yellow box around this screen. Watch, it'll move. Now the yellow box just moved over here. We can tap twice to go full screen and then we can also change the resolution. We change the resolution right down here. By doing that, it allows us to pick. We'll go to clear. And then the camera reloads at high definition, whereas it was originally set at low definition. Once we're in here, we have two different viewing schemes. We can look at it this way, or we can look at it this way. When we look at it this way, we get additional features. Notice across the bottom, we've got more things we can do. 
tap once to bring that menu back. We're going to log out of our ability to change the resolution and we're going to log into Digital Zoom. When we log into Digital Zoom, it allows us to interrogate more information on the photo. When you're in Digital Zoom, you can do nothing else. So once you've done enough of that, we hit the plus sign and now we're no longer in that digital zoom and we can tap twice to make that photo go away and bring up four we can also swipe and load four other images the other thing we can do is we can pick a different camera grid let's go to nine and as you can imagine, the more cameras, the more bandwidth, the more bandwidth, the slower the app will respond. Let's switch back to this side. This is the only side that we can add and subtract cameras from. When we're in here, we don't get the menu on top that we get here. Notice the device menu and the camera menu. If you accidentally remove a camera from the live view, you can't get it back unless you go into the list. The list is up here. We click on the list. We open up the DVR. Notice the two checks are missing. Check, check, back to live view, and now those two cameras repopulate. If you want to take an image and send it to someone across the bottom we have a, a camera snapshot and we also have video. This stores video on your iPad so we're currently making a backup of this video. Let's stop that. It uses a lot of hard drive. This takes a quick snapshot as you can see it just took a quick snapshot of that I'll show you where they go in a moment so let's go back to four cameras now that we're here in the bottom right you can see we have the ability to stop all video and now we have the ability to start all video and the cameras will come back the rest of the icons across the bottom are the pan tilt zoom controller which you need a specific camera to use and change of the resolution. Change of the resolution refers to the specific camera that you have selected by the yellow border. So let's just take a moment and go back into our menu. Notice we have live view, remote playback, devices, alarm, pictures and video, cloud P2P, and configuration. When we log into configuration you will find a help section. The help section goes through everything in great detail. The cloud P2P is not used in this app for our purposes. Picture and video is where we stored the two items that we grabbed earlier in this video. We can select it and then we can email it out. Or we can delete it. Now let's take a look at playback. When we go into playback, we have to select cameras. Here's our list of cameras. Here's our from date and our to date. So if we select this particular camera on the bottom, start playback. And now we're looking at this camera and across the bottom you can see the recorded times that are here. You can drag and drop to a different time and it will populate.
once you're done with this or if you'd like well let's say we want to select a different camera we would pause our video then we would come up to here uncheck that check a different camera again start live view and go back in again and it'll reload once we're done with playback again back to our menu and we can go back to live view if you have any additional questions you'd like to see more information again configuration help thank you